Yeah, yeah. Good morning, family of fast. Matt Mossman, the Chief Endurance Officer over at Endure Elite. Do you ever roll out of bed first thing in the morning, you put your exercise clothes on, and you head out for like a run or a ride, and immediately you feel lightheaded, you feel dizzy, you feel a grumbling in your stomach, and you're just downright hangry, and if you saw a deer on the side of the road, you would swear you would chase that son of a bitch down just to satisfy your hunger? If so, you may be hung over. Okay, just kidding. If all these symptoms are happening to you, you may be experiencing hypoglycemia. Now, it may be for for other reasons that this is happening, but for the purposes of this video, let's talk about hypoglycemia a little bit as far as what it is and how you can prevent it from happening to you. Now, hypoglycemia in the simplest sense is low blood sugar or low blood glucose. And a lot of the symptoms of hypoglycemia are the lightheadedness, the dizziness, this the hangry feeling you have in your stomach. And it can happen for a lot of different reasons. You know, if you wake up first thing in the morning, you roll out of bed, basically you haven't eaten for eight to 10 hours, depending on how long you sleep. So blood glucose, is uh, decreased. It can also happen if you you know don't eat any kind of food between meals, like say you go a four to six hour stretch without anything, hypoglycemia can happen too. And also it can happen during longer endurance races as glycogen becomes depleted and blood glucose is down and you're not consuming enough carbohydrates to replace that uh, glucose. So hypoglycemia just sitting around by itself sucks, but when you exercise in your hypoglycemic, it sucks even more. So what can you do about it? So let's talk about this in three stages. If you're the type of person that wakes up early in the morning, here's what you wanna do. The night before, I would suggest eating a higher, higher carbohydrate snack before you go to bed to top off your glycogen stores. Now, first thing in the morning, you want to get some food uh, or energy in you from high glycemic foods, meaning they're basically quick digesting, they're gonna elevate blood sugar so that when you head out for the run, your blood glucose is a little bit elevated. Now, I would suggest something like, either like a gel or a juice or a piece of fruit and eat that about, if you can, like 30 minutes before you head out the door in the morning. Now, if you absolutely can't do that because you got three kids, a busy job and stuff like that and you literally have to get out the door right away first thing in the morning, like within five minutes, I would suggest like taking a gel real quick with a sip of water and then heading out the door. So that's how you can prevent hypoglycemia in most cases if you exercise first thing in the morning. Now, what about between meals? Well, basically, here's how you want to time that. Like say, you know, you usually work out after work. You want to time your lunch and make it a higher carbohydrate lunch with a protein and eat that about three to four hours before you know you're going to work out. So about 200 to 300 grams of carbs, a little bit of protein, a little bit of fat. And then within like 30 minutes of going for your workout, again, just take a quick digesting carbohydrate, again, like a gel, a piece of fruit, or something like that. Lastly, to prevent hypoglycemia during endurance exercise, especially as you, you know, go above the hour to two hour mark and you had a meal before that going into the workout, um, what you really want to do here is depending on the length and intensity of the exercise, I would shoot to consume about 30 up to 90 grams of carbs an hour during prolonged endurance exercise. Now, for under two hours, you're probably going to be okay with 30 grams of carbs an hour. You go two to four hours, you're probably going to be good or looking at about 60 grams of carbs an hour. And then as you go on to that ultra endurance type stuff, um, you know, four hours plus, you're going to want to shoot for about 90 grams of carbs an hour, which is a lot and takes some training uh, of the gut, which we'll discuss in another video. But basically, that'll keep blood glucose levels elevated, hopefully spare muscle glycogen later down the line so you have the energy and you won't you know, go hypoglycemic. Now, the last question is like, some people 
absolutely can't eat or drink like before they go out the door first thing in the morning or right before a workout or they may just do like the endurance exercise in a fastest state. Well, your body's pretty darn clever actually and it will get energy from the stored glycogen and then also during exercise and when you're in kind of like a fasted state, your body's able to use uh, certain amino acids, the main one being alanine to produce glucose. So the point here being is like if you go into endurance exercise in a fasted state, yeah that first 15 minutes might really suck and you might get hypoglycemic until your body can actually start taking over and break down glycogen to release glucose in the blood and to use the amino acids for energy as well. So again, you may not, you know, you may get hypoglycemic within that first, teen, first 15 minutes, but after that, it, it may be okay. It really just depends on the person. At the end of the day though, like you really want to experiment with having carbohydrates within the hour before endurance exercise. In a lot of cases, I would say for the majority of the population, it's very beneficial for elevating blood glucose, but for some people, it will have a little more negative response. It'll actually make them more hypoglycemic make and this is due to a role uh, that insulin plays that we won't get into but the main point being is experiment with carbs right before exercise and see if it works basically to increase your performance or make you feel better during the run or if it's not going to be good for you at all. I mean, it, really people differ the way they metabolize um, um, certain things and everybody's not the same. So again, experiment with carbohydrate consumption about an hour before exercise, see if it works for you. So that is all I have on hypoglycemia today. If you have a buddy that gets absolutely hangry during their endurance exercise, please share this video with them. If you want other videos like this on endurance training, nutrition, and supplementation, subscribe to the Endure Elite YouTube channel or head on over to the Endure Elite blog at www.endureelite.com. Get social with us on Instagram and our Facebook training and nutrition club page. And until next time, my endurance friends, stay fueled, stay focused, stay fast, and stay informed.